Hi guys, this is Rich here from Rich TV Live, and we have some breaking news. Afria sales grow 117% in Q1. It's true. Afria records solid revenue growth in first quarter of 2019. 35% increase in grams sold in Q1 2018. That's a good increase. 117% increase in revenue year over year and net income increases more than 40% year over year. This is breaking news. First thing this morning from Leamington, Ontario, Afria Inc, APH on the TSX, or APHQF on the OTC in America, today reports its results for the first quarter and quarter ended August 31st, 2018. All amounts are expressed in Canadian dollars. So you can see that the company's revenues have really grown. I don't know how this is going to affect the market today. It's up a little bit pre-market, but nothing substantial so far. But I will definitely keep you updated. Keep key operating highlights. Significant increase in grams sold in the quarter, driven by wholesale orders being used in clinical drug trials and rebalancing of inventory related to cannabis trim. Annual production capacity in Canada currently at 30,000 kilograms at Afria 1 and 5,000 kilograms at Broken Coast. Canadian-based production capacity on scale to reach 255,000 kilograms per year with first sale from Part 5, 1 IV expected in January 2019 pending Health Canada approval. Sign supply agreements with every province in Canada and the Yukon Territory, ensuring access to Afria products for 99.8% of the Canadian population. So pretty much they can, <laughs> they can produce for everybody in Canada. Signed LOI and perennial to establish joint venture to develop new consumer-centric cannabis-infused product categories and brands. Wow. Final. Full quarter of inventory build for adult use market in Canada and international opportunities. Entered into a representative agreement to be the exclusive sales representative for We Grow BC Limited. Launched the company's initial portfolio of adult use brands Soleil, Sun Growth Cannabis, Riff, Good Supply, and Good Fields. Successfully divested of all U.S. cannabis assets. Subsequent to quarter end. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I guess that's their decision. Closed a bought deal common share offering during the period to raise net proceeds of more than $245 million. Wow. So they're definitely very cash rich. Afria started fiscal 2019 by taking significant steps to solidify our position as a premier global cannabis company. We advanced the build-out of our expansion in Leamington, signed coast-to-coast -coast supply agreements, launched our strong portfolio of adult-use brands, and created strategic collaborations with leading companies like Perennial that will ensure Afria continues to lead the consumer experience as the cannabis industry evolves. This is Vic Newfield, who is the Vic Newfeld, who is the Chief Executive Officer CEO of Afria. Going forward, we are well positioned not only for the recreational market in Canada, but also the continued growth and leadership of the medical cannabis market globally. With committed supply agreements, a substantial and growing production footprint, a diversified brand portfolio, proven product development and innovation capabilities, and strong international alliances, Afria is focused on driving sustainable long-term profitable growth and capitalizing on the most accredited cannabis opportunities around the world. As we long maintain, the legalization of adult use cannabis in Canada is a major inflection point for the industry and all licensed producers, Afria included. While we experienced a short-term decline in adjusted earning in the first quarter, we continue to ramp up our production capabilities. With our Part 4 and Part 5 expansions of Afria 1, added considerable strength to our workforce and continue to move forward aggressively with the implementation of our automation infrastructure 
which is expected to streamline production over the medium to long terms. We believe the automation investment in particular will provide Afrio with a significant competitive advantage and further our industry leading low cost structure. So this is what they want to do is they want to have a low cost structure and, and that's a great idea. On behalf of Afria, everyone at Afria, we are thrilled to welcome the legalization of adult use cannabis in Canada next week. We are ready to usher the industry into an exciting new era and meet the growing demand for cannabis in Canada and globally for years to come, said Mr. Neufeld. Key financial highlights. Revenue for the three months ended August 31st, 2018 was... 13292000 representing a 10% increase over the prior quarter's revenue of $12 million, which is pretty good, and a 217% increase over the same period last year. That is substantial. The increase in the quarter was driven primarily by increased wholesale orders, accounting for 313,000 kilograms. The increase in wholesale orders was comprised by approximately 200 kilograms of cannabis trim sold to other LPs to properly balance inventory levels of specific strains that were not in demand by the provincial control boards and approximately 100 kilograms of dry cannabis and cannabis oils supplied to third party partners conducting clinical drug trials. Cannabis oil sales as a percentage of volume increased from 29.2% to 39.1% in the quarter, driven primarily by an internal formula change for our equivalency factor on a year-over-year -year basis. Revenue in the quarter increased 217.2%. That is substantial growth. These are very strong numbers. Adjusted gross profit for the first quarter was 8,458,000 with an adjusted gross margin of 63.8% compared to 9,468,000 with an adjusted gross margin of 78.7% in the prior quarter. The decrease in the adjusted gross margin and the adjusted gross profit from the prior quarter largely relates to the internal decision to dispose of 13,642 plants prior to harvest. Whoa. During the period, the canopy the company was unable to fill all of the open greenhouse positions due to a lack of qualified local labor, which left it with insufficient staff to harvest the levels of production. This is an interesting part here. In the Afria 1 greenhouse in the early summer, as a result of the lower staff levels, one week's crop rotation outgrew its optimal harvest period to maintain the highest quality for its patients and to properly balance production requirements. The company disposed of all affected plants to ensure the next week's harvest was grown in optimal conditions. Had this write-off not occurred, the adjusted gross margins would have been much higher by 7.4% or 71% subsequent to the quarter. Afria doubled the size of its greenhouse staff in Leamington Automation as part of the Part 4 expansion is also expected to be fully operational by the end of Q2 2019, which will further permit Afria to not only permit, not only preserve, but enhance its industry-leading low-cost production standards within the cannabis industry. So that's probably why it was down for a good part of the year and why it has exploded recently here and really had a huge jump. Net, in, net income for the three months ended August 31st, 2018 was 21,176,000 or 0 0.09 per share as opposed to 15,041,000 or 0 0.11 cents per share in the prior year. The increase in net income for the quarter relates to gains on a long-term investment portfolio, primarily our investments in Liberty Health Sciences, love that company, and Haiku Brands, love them as well, and the increase in fair value of biological assets caused by the production increase associated by 
with our part three expansion project. Adjusted EBITDA loss from ACMPR operations for the first quarter was 0.8 million compared to adjusted EBITDA from ACMPR operations of 2.2 million in the prior quarter. The decrease in adjusted EBITDA from ACMPR operations relates to a decrease of 1 million in adjusted gross profits and 1.2 million in selling, marketing, and promotional expenses associated with preparations for adult use. Adjusted EBITDA loss for the first quarter was 4 million compared to 0.6 million in the prior quarter. The difference between adjusted EBITDA and ACMPR operations and adjusted EBITDA is 3.1 million adjusted EBITDA loss on AFRIA International Operations. Conference call October 12, 2018. The company invites you to join its analyst conference call this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern to discuss its financial results for the quarter ended. This is huge. August 31st, 2018. An audio replay of this call will be available until November 9, 2018. These are all the conference call details. What do you guys think about this? This looks like some pretty big news about Afria. Afria is a leading global cannabis company driven by unrelented commitment to our people, product quality, and innovation. Headquartered in Leamington, Ontario, the greenhouse capital of Canada, Afria has been setting the standard for the low-cost production of safe, clean, and pure pharmaceutical-grade cannabis at scale, grown in the most natural conditions possible, focusing on untapped opportunities and backed by the latest technologies, Afri is committed to bringing breakthrough innovation to the global cannabis market. The company's portfolio of brands is grounded in expertly researched consumer insights designed to meet the needs of every consumer segment, rooted in our founders' multi-generational expertise in commercial agriculture. Afria, Afria drives sustainable long-term shareholder value through a diversified approach to innovation, strategic partnership, and global expansion with a presence in more than 10 countries across five continents. They are first mover. The conference call will be at noon in the West Coast, 9 a.m. Eastern in the East Coast. What do you guys think about this news? Comment down below. Smash that like button if you like this news. And share this video everywhere. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more updates. And hit that bell for notifications. So every time Rich TV Live brings you some breaking news, you get the news first. Thank you for watching. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you invest in anything we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Holler at your boy. This is your boy, Rich. You're not winning. You're not watching. I'm out. Peace.